Jai Sriman Narayana. The following commentary I'm about to give is by Ramanujadasa Sriman Gattu Venugopalaswami. Chapter 6 Atma Samyama Yoga Sloka 12 Tatraika Agram Manah Krutva Yeta Chittendriya Kriyaha Upavisyasane Yunjyat Yogam Atma Visuddhaye Vum Gita Charya Sri Krishna Paramatma is teaching Atma Samyama Yoga to all of us along with Arjuna. Paramatma is saying, Arjuna, as I've said, arrange the asana or seat suitable for dhyana or meditation, and while sitting on that wooden seat with ekagra or one-pointed or focused manas or mind, one must not have any other thought other than atma darsanam or self-realization. In this way, your manas or mind should be concentrated on atma darsanam or self-realization and you should do dhyanam or meditation while keeping your other indriyas or sensory organs carefully controlled from wandering freely. For what? For atma darsanam or self-realization. Atma means you. Where are you now? You are currently held in bondage. This bondage must be released. You must be liberated from this bondage. This should be your strong desire. You must hold that firm desire for release from bondage and keep your indriyas or sensory organs in your tight control. Your manas or mind must be fixated upon atma darsanam or self-realization. This is how you must be doing atma dhyanam or meditation upon atma. This is how Sri Krishna Paramatma is explaining the method in doing dhyanam or meditation. As Paramatma taught, let us all do atma dhyanam or meditation upon atma every day. Let us all remember the fact that we are all held in bondage and keep an intense desire in our manas to be liberated from bondage. Let us all keep our mind engrossed on Atma and try to do Atma Dhyanam or meditation upon Atma for at least a little while every day. While practicing his teachings, let us all repeat Paramatma's words as it is. Tatraika gram manakrutva yatachitendriya kriyaha upavisyasane yunjyat Yoga Matma Visuddhaye. The entire essence of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is given by Sri Krishna Paramatma in Chapter 18, Sloka 65 through 70 to do eight things. Sri Krishna says, I love those who follow these eight things. I will protect those devotees in all kinds of ways. After listening to all of Bhagavad Gita spoken by Sri Krishna Paramatma, Arjuna says, Karishye Vachanam Tava, which means, Krishna, I will do as you say. This is why Sri Krishna has bestowed Arjuna all kinds of successes and victories. Let's give Paramatma our vow that we will observe these eight actions. There is no puja, tapas, or yajna that is greater than giving this word to Paramatma. I will say these eight vows we should make. You all please think these in your mind and heart. In this way of us giving Sri Krishna our word, let us all visualize Sri Krishna's face beaming with joy and feel bliss. Jai Sri Narayana. These are our eight promises. Our first promise. O Sri Narayana, as you instructed, I will always meditate upon and think of you. Our second promise. O Sriman Narayana, as you advised, 
I will always be your devotee. Our third promise. O Sriman Narayana, I will perform all my actions as service to you and for your satisfaction. Our fourth promise. O Sriman Narayana, as you said to follow, I have great faith that I belong to you and I will always join my hands together and do namaskaram to you and worship you. Our fifth promise. O Sriman Narayana, I recall your words, Ma Mekam Saranam Vraja, from chapter 18, sloka 66, that you said to surrender to you alone. Sriman Narayana, I surrender to you alone. Our sixth promise. O Sriman Narayana, I recall your words, Ma Sujaha, from chapter 18, sloka 66, that you are giving us reassurance to not grieve. I shall no longer grieve. Our seventh promise. O Sriman Narayana, you have graced and blessed us all by delivering Srimad Bhagavad Gita for our sake. I promise to read or listen to at least one sloka daily. Our eighth promise. O Sriman Narayana, you delivered Gita to all humanity. I will try to spread your words in Gita to those devotees that are unfamiliar with Gita. We just made our eight promises to Paramatma. Giving Sriman Narayana our word each day that we will do as he says itself is a great puja. Let's give him our promise with our unshakable faith. O Sriman Narayana, I will do as you say, I will behave as you wish, and I will work only for you. Sriman Narayana, Karishye Vachanam Tava, which means, Sriman Narayana, I will act according to your instructions. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamastu. Jai Sri Manarayana Tatraika Agram Manakrutva Yeta Chitendriya Kriyaha Vupavisya Sane Yunjiat Yogam Atma Visuddhaye Vum Tatraika Gram Manakrutva Yetachitendriya Kriyaha Upavisya Sane Yunjiat Yoga Matma Visuddhaye Sriman Narayana Karishye Vachanam Tava Sarvam Sri Krishna Panamastu Jai Sri Manarayana Jai Sri Manarayana A special request to all devotees In all the things in our life, we want immediate and effective results. To achieve this, let's spend one minute daily and read Narayanastram. In order to obtain Narayanastram, go to Narayanastram website, which is www.narayanastram.org, and provide your name and email in the registration. You will receive a Narayanastram PDF to the email you provided. In the PDF, there's a Ramayana Sloka, a Gita Sloka, and a Vishnu Namam. The three of these put together is called Narayanastram. Everyone receives a different combination of these slokas. When everyone reads or listens to their Narayanastram daily along with 24,000 devotees, one round of Sampurna Ramayana Parayana, 33 rounds of Srimad Bhagavad Gita Parayana, 24 rounds of Sri Vishnu Sahasranama Stotra Parayana is completed every day. This is such a remarkable and extraordinary outcome that comes out of doing this every single day. That's why 
You and your family members immediately go and obtain your Narayana Astram. Jai Sri Narayana.